This is Eric Rico Scarcella down here on the field with Orphil's pitching coach, Bob Malacki. Uh, team dropped one, a close one tonight, 2-1 to one to the Portland Sea Dogs. Uh, but starter Jonathan Pettibone had a, uh, another quality start. Uh, what do you think worked for John out there today? Uh, first of all, you went right after hitters with his fastball. His fastball had good angle, aggressive down in the zone, and he, and he pitched off his fastball with his other his secondary pitches. He did a nice job. Now, uh, earlier on in the season, I think John, he, he pitched well, and he had a few rocky starts. What has improved uh, since he, uh, you know, last two starts? The big thing was command. Uh, he fell behind a lot of hitters when he was struggling a little bit. Now, last two starts, he's going right after guys. He's in the zone, uh, catching more of the plate early in the count and, and uh, working to the corners towards the end of the count. And, you know, usually when you're ahead of hitters, you, you got the advantage. Um, with a guy like John, he's a little bit different than, say, maybe a guy like Trevor May who kind of blows guys by with strikeouts. John's a little bit more contact pitcher. How? Um, what's the difference in coaching him versus a guy like Trevor? Well, I mean, obviously we've got to look at uh, bat reaction. We talk about bat reaction and, and what hitters are trying to do. And, and you know, don't throw your off-speed pitches to guys that are late on your fastball. Just simple stuff like that. And, you know, the biggest thing is just going after hitters and pitching off your fastball and getting bat reaction and, and making, you know, make a pitch to what the hitter's trying to do. All right, Bob, I appreciate it. Um, thanks for you know sharing your insight on our Railroad House player of the game, John Pettibone. Once again, the Arfills drop a close one tonight, 2-1 to one of the Portland Sea Dogs. We'll be back tomorrow at 6.35 p.m. when Drew Naylor makes his third start of the year for the Arfills against a to-be-announced starter for Portland. Back to you, RTV, and we'll see you tomorrow night.